All right, the next part we're going to put on is the uh, the balance unit. Uh, some people like to get rid of these. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's a reason that the manufacturer spent a lot of money on making something like this and adding it to the motor and adding the timing chain gear. Uh, so if it makes the motor run smoother, uh, oh, so be it. So just, you just put it on and you torque it to 35 foot-pounds crisscross pattern. And um, after that, you rotate the bolts 90 degrees, and then that is set in there. And then we're going to either put the timing chain on and the head on. I haven't decided which yet. Hey, one more thing that might help you out when you go to torque the uh, variable valve timing unit. I don't know what it's called. On the Jag, it's called the VVT. Um, I don't know what Nissan calls it. Anyway, um, these are these are torqued to 100 foot pounds on both of them uh, stick a wrench on the camshaft to hold it because the, the chain will not hold it the motor is just going to roll and just be careful not to let the cams turn because right now without the uh, the tensioner uh, pumped up with oil this thing will pull back and it will jump time and then you're going to have to kind of snake it around and get those things to line back up again make sure everything's lined up before you put that front cover on uh, so yeah, you can hold it with a you can hold it with a 24 millimeter wrench on the camshafts. Just pull tight on it, don't let it move, and then torque that torque both of these to 100 foot pounds, and uh, you should be fine. And they, that's a that's a uh, 16 no 17 millimeter um, nut size, and the camshaft I'm using what a 24, yeah 24, and uh, that's that's it. Hi right, guys, back again. Uh, I got the timing chain all together here, and uh, I'm going to spare you the boring details of actually putting it together. Uh, first thing I started with was the, the balance shaft on the bottom. There's a, a dark link. I don't know if you can see it. The dark link goes up on that mark. The, uh, the crank is turned up the top dead center, pistons all the way up, and the number one and the number four. Uh, and the keyway is also up, which on most motors, when the keyway is up, you're at top dead center. But, um, yeah, so that little dot there goes with the link, uh, the dark link on the chain. Same thing down here. There's another one, and there's a dot on the balance shaft gear. It puts it about in that position. Uh, I was thinking you could actually screw it up by doing it backwards, but on second thought, you probably can't because you wouldn't. the dark link is only on this side of the chain, not on the back side of the chain. So it's over here, and at about, I would say the 530 position is where that where that uh, other link ends up. And then you put your uh, your tensioner assembly on there and torque it down. Uh, then we got the um, this is just the eccentric for the uh, for the oil pump drive. I just slid that on there. And then over here, the proper timing on these motors is this line here goes with that dark link. This line over here goes with that dark link, and then there's a there's another one down here on the bottom, which lines up with that that dot. Let's see if I get that a little better. Which lines up with that dot on the bottom of the gear there, and uh, that is proper time. When you do it though, it's kind of funny because <laughs> there's like slop in here, and, and nothing here is really supposed to line up. The whole timing with these motors is with the links. And the marks don't worry so much about the slack in it uh, you can you can actually turn it and pop that back out but it seems the camshaft um, because the way it's sitting on the valve springs it wants to return back to that natural position so anyway that's um, that's how it goes uh, and then we can pull these pins out now that everything's all set for the, for the tensioner and that'll uh, I gotta take this clip off here and then that pin out there, and that'll uh, that'll allow the tensioners to operate and tension up the chain properly. And that's really it. Now the next thing we're gonna do is put the front cover on, and uh, we're almost getting done with this here motor. And now when you put the cover on, uh, I got a nice brand new cover to go on there. Uh, seals already in. That's good. Uh, because when you replace the oil pump, the oil pump is in there, so the whole cover comes with it. Uh, just going to put a bead of uh, silicone in here, just enough that when it goes on, it does not squish inside the engine, because then you got these little 
flags of silicone hanging out in there and um, they uh, if they break off they're going to end up in your oil pump pickup and down your oil pan you don't need that so just be just be careful put enough in there but not too much that it's going to ooze everywhere and uh, the other thing is you got two o-rings one goes here and then one goes up around there I put a little grease on them stick them in there put your silicone on your case and then put your case on and uh, talk the cover on All right, so now the uh, the upper oil pan is on. Everything's nice and clean, all torqued down. And now we just have to throw the lower oil pan on. I'm going to throw this on. Um, I'm kidding. <laughs> 18 bucks for a brand new one. Uh, well, brand new aftermarket uh, on Amazon. This one over here, the uh, coating inside is coming off, and I wasn't about to uh, to put that on a rebuilt motor all that stuff will end up in the oil pump pickup and inside and it'll, it'll be a bad scene so that's going in the trash and we're going to seal this one up put it on torque it down and that's it this motor is basically done whoops and there's the pan on and uh torque down to uh 60 uh, inch pounds Well, there it is all painted up rebuilt machines and uh, Ready to go back in And I still got the bolts loose here because I'm not sure if um, It'll clear the uh, frame rail with this on here or not. So I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it loose for now and tighten it up or pull it off while I'm putting it in and uh, we'll see how it goes definitely the balancer was a problem getting it out that was hitting the rail so I'm gonna leave that off till I get the motor in and then I'm gonna put that back on tighten it up